One positive integer is four more than two times another positive integer. The difference of their squares is 128. Determine the numbers. So we know we have two positive integers in which one is four more than two times the other. Let's first let the variable x equal a positive integer. And now because the other positive integer is four more than two times this positive integer, we can say the other positive integer can be represented by the expression that is four more than two times x. Well, four more than two times x is the expression two x plus four. Again, this expression represents four more than two times x, and therefore this expression is equal to the other positive integer. Also notice how because x is a positive integer, two x plus four is going to be the larger positive integer. This is important because we are told the difference of their squares is 128. So because the difference is positive, we know we have to have the square of the larger positive integer minus the square of the smaller positive integer, which will equal 128. This gives us the equation, the square of the quantity two x plus four minus the square of x equals 128. And now let's work on simplifying the left side of the equation. We first need to square the quantity two x plus four. And the square of x is just x squared. And now multiplying the two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. 2x times 2x is 4x squared, plus 2x times 4, that's plus 8x, plus 4 times 2x, that's plus 8x, and then plus 4 times 4 gives us plus 16. And now we combine like terms. We have 2x squared terms, and we have 2x terms. 4x squared minus x squared, or 4x squared minus 1x squared is 3x squared. 8x plus 8x is 16x, giving us plus 16x. We still have plus 16 equals 128. Notice how we have a quadratic equation to solve by factoring. Let's set the right side of the equation equal to zero by subtracting 128 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying. We have three x squared plus 16 x. 16 minus 128 is equal to negative 112, giving us minus 112 equals, the difference on the right is zero. And now we want to factor the right side of the equation. Notice three is not a common factor, so this will be a challenging factoring problem. If it does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is three x squared, one binomial factor will have three x as the first term, the other will have x. And now we need to place the factors of negative 112 into the binomial factors so that the sum of the inner product and outer product give us positive 16 x. For the next step, let's determine the prime factorization of 112. 112 is equal to two times 56. 56 is equal to eight times seven. Eight is equal to four times two. And four is equal to two times two. Which means the prime factorization of 112 is equal to one, two, three, four factors of two and a factor of seven. Looking at the prime factorization of 112, notice how two times two is equal to four, and two times two times seven is equal to 28. And because we are using the factors of negative 112, we could use negative four times positive 28, or positive four times negative 28 in the second positions of the binomial factors. Remember, we need the sum of the inner product and outer product to be equal to positive 16. So let's use positive 28 and negative four and place plus 28 here and minus four here. Let's check to see if this works. 
the inner product is positive 28x. The outer product is negative 12x. 28x plus negative 12x is equal to positive 16x, which is a middle term, and therefore we do have this factored correctly. Now that we have it factored, this product is equal to zero when 3x plus 28 equals zero or when x minus four equals zero. Solving for x here, we would subtract 28 on both sides and then divide by three, giving us x equals negative 28 thirds, which is not an integer, and therefore we can exclude this as a possible solution. And then for x minus four equals zero, to solve for x we add four, giving us x equals four. Four is a positive integer, and therefore this is the solution that we need in order to answer the question. Again, we exclude this solution of x for two reasons, because it's negative and also it's not an integer. Going back up to the top, we now know x is equal to four, so one positive integer is four, and the other positive integer is represented by the expression two x plus four, so if x is equal to four, we have two times four plus four, which is eight plus four, which equals 12. Now that we've found the two positive integers, let's just verify the difference of their squares is 128. We'd have 12 squared minus four squared equals 128. 12 squared is equal to 144. Four squared is equal to 16. 144 minus 16 is 128. Verifying our solution is correct. Let's write the answer as a complete sentence. The two positive integers are four and 12. I hope you found this helpful.